Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created a room entity and we restricted the APIs by the user role in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will create post room API call. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, before creating the API call, we need to create the repository and service classes. So we will right click on this repository package and we will choose new Java class and we will name this class as room repository. And after this from the options we will select interface. And after this we will annotate this class with at the rate repository annotation. And then we need to extend this from JPA repository. So we will write extend and then we will mention JPA repository. And we will import this from JPA dot repository. And after this here we need to mention the entity and the data type of the primary key. So we will write room and we will import it from hotel server dot entity. And after this we will mention long which is the data type of our primary key. And with this our room repository is completed. And after this we need to create a room service. So we will right click on this services package and we will choose new package. And we will name this package as admin. And after this we will right click on this admin package and we will choose new package and we will name this package as rooms. And after this we will right click on this rooms package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as rooms service. And after this from the options we will select interface. After this we will right click again on this rooms package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as rooms service implementation. And after this we will annotate this class with at the rate service annotation. And after this service annotation we will add the annotation for required augs constructor from Lombok. And after this we will write implements and we will mention rooms service. And we will import it from services.admin.rooms. And now we need to inject the room repository. So we will write private final and after this we will mention room repository. And we will name this as room repository. And now we need to create the room DTO. So we will right click on this DTO package and we will choose new Java class. And we will name this class as room DTO. And after this we will annotate this class with at the rate data annotation from Lombok to get the getters and setters. And after this let's open our room entity and let's copy the properties from here. And after this we will open room DTO. And we will paste them here. And with this our room DTO is ready. Now let's open our rooms service implementation. And in this class we will start writing a new method. And this method will return a boolean. And we will name this as post room. And in the params of this method we will accept room DTO. And we will name this as room DTO. And in the body of this method we will write a try block. And in this try block we will create a new room. And we will name this as room and we will initialize it with new room. And after this we need to get the data from the room DTO and we need to set it in the room. And first of all we need to set the room name. So we will use room and we will call a method set name. And after this we will use room DTO and we will call a method get name. And after this we need to set the price. So we will use room and we will call set price method. And after this we will use room DTO and we will call get price. And after the price we need to set the room type. So we will use room and we will call set type method. And in this we will pass room DTO dot get type. And after the type the last thing we want to set is the availability. So we will use room and we will call set available method. And on the creation of the new room we will set it to true and after this we will use room repository and we will call save method and in the params we will pass the room and at the end of this block we will write a return statement and we will return true from here and after this we will write a catch block and in this catch block we will catch exception and we will name this as e and in the body of this block we will write a return statement and we will return false and with this our post room is completed in our room service implementation. Now let's copy this and let's open our rooms service and let's paste it here. 
and after this we need to create an endpoint to call this method but before that we need to create a rooms controller so we will right click on this controller package and we will choose new package and after this we will remove this auth and after the controller we will create a package and we will name this as admin and after this we will right click on this admin package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as rooms controller and after this we will annotate this controller with at the rate rest controller annotation because we want to create the restful apis and then we will annotate this class with at the rate request mapping annotation and for the url let's set slash api slash admin and at the end we will annotate this class with at the rate required auth constructor from lombok and after this we need to inject the rooms service so we will write private final and after this we will mention rooms service and we will name this as rooms service and after this we will start writing a new method and this method will return a response entity and we will name this method as post room and in the body we need to accept room dto so we will mention at the rate request body annotation and after this we will mention room dto and we will name this as room dto and in the body of this method we will create a boolean variable and we will name this as success and after this we will call a room service and we will call a method post room and in the params of this method we will pass room dto and after this we need to check this success variable so we will write if condition and in this we will check if success is true and in this case we will write a return statement and we will return a response entity and after this to set the status we will call status method and we will return http status and we will import this from spring framework dot http and after this we will call dot ok and at the end to build the response we will call dot build method and after this we will write the else block as well and in this block we will write a return statement and we will return response entity and after this we will call status method and we will return http status dot bad request and after this we will call the build method and at the end we will annotate this method with at the rate post mapping annotation and for the url we will set slash room and with this our post room api call is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and now let's go to the postman and let's test our post room api call and in the postman from the request types we will select post and after this we need to give the basic url which is http localhost 8080 and after this we need to give the controller url which is api slash admin and at the end we need to give the endpoint url which is slash room and after this we will click on this body and then we will click raw and in the request body first of all we need to pass the name and let's give it as room one and after this we need to give the type of the room and let's give it as studio and after this we need to give the price and let's give it as 500 and after this let's click on this send button to call the api which should give us 403 error and as you can see we got 403 forbidden as expected and now we need to pass the JWT so we will open authorization and after this from the type we need to select bearer token and after this we will open the login API call and in the request body we will pass email and password of the admin user and after this we will click on this send button and as you can see we got 200 ok and from the response body let's copy our JWT token and after this we will open our post room api call and in this api call let's paste the jwt token here and after this let's click on this send button again and as you can see this time we got 200 ok and now let's open the mysql workbench to confirm this addition and in the mysql workbench we will open hotel underscore db and after this we will open the tables drop down and then we will click on this icon to view the data of the rooms table 
and as you can see we got one record inserted with the id 1 where the name is room 1 which we just gave and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create a page to post the room in our angular application